Preview. Preview. Uh, Al Gore is saying that soon we're going to see flying rivers and rain bombs and that he blames it all on man-made global warming. Uh, he's turned into the weather porn leader of the world. Uh, Al Gore, former vice president, has issued new climate warnings and bizarre weather such as flying rivers and rain bombs. But he's not saying that they are being genetically modified or manufactured uh, weather conditions, but that these are a byproduct or a result of man-made global warming. What? So Gore says these are just some of the recent effects of climate change, global warming, warned the former U.S. Vice President Al Gore at the Global Education Skills Forum in Dubai. He was in Dubai on Sunday at the global weather is becoming extreme, he said, and disruptive, mainly because of global warming. Well, Al Gore, you're right. Weather conditions are becoming more extreme and they, be, they are becoming more disruptive, but they are biblical, apocalyptic manifestations of end-time prophecy with a little help from the genetically modified weather conditions. Geostorms are certainly a part of the scientific community to re-engineer, uh, to help direct hurricanes that once they've started, to drop large amounts of rain in areas called rain bombs, to make manufacture snow that it's not even real. I mean, I've even used a blowtorch and burned it. It turned black and smelled like plastic. People know this is going on. So Al Gore, uh, but you have to also realize, even without a little bit of help from the scientific community, that's nothing compared to the extreme weather conditions that will intensify around the planet, especially according to biblical prophecy. And if, you're in, if you open your Bible and look at Isaiah 24, I'll show you in just a moment, in four verses, major apocalyptic things are going to happen. Jesus said that we were going to have, uh, you know, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. We know there's apocalypse. We're breaking records in earthquakes, breaking records with volcanic eruptions, breaking records with asteroids near missing the earth. I mean, are you serious? And extreme, extreme weather conditions keep happening globally. But they're not because of man-made. They're not because man on the earth, there's too many people here. Too many footprints. I mean, carbon footprints. Get out of here, Al Gore, please. We're so tired of this kind of stuff. And then listen to this. But it says that Al Gore is accused of engaging in scientifically baseless weather porn for attempting to link every bad weather event to global warming. Man-made global warming. Well, in Dubai, the weather, bizarre weather, such as flying rivers and rain bombs are just some of the recent effects, he says, of climate change or global warming. Some people even call it a mini ice age. Which is it? Mini ice age? Global warming? Stream? Do they know? Is it getting colder? Is it getting hotter? Do they know? You better read the scriptures. It'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. The earth's going to melt with a fervent heat. But it's not because of man-made or too many people creating a carbon footprint. It's because of the sin and disobedience to the word of God and direct violation doing the things that they did, the sin that was committed as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Mm -hmm.